CBS 2 News starts right now with breaking news. Breaking Chicago Public School teachers vote to strike. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brad Edwards. Tomorrow, educators will picket outside every public school in the city. Tonight, we have team coverage on the strike and its impact. We begin with CBS 2's Tara Molina live outside CTU headquarters. Tara. Brad and Erica, this all starts at 6.30 tomorrow morning. That is when CTU says they will be outside every school in the city. And they tell us that's exactly where they'll stay until a new solution is presented. So just go down to the end and Chicago teachers lining up to grab picket signs this afternoon ahead of the official strike announcement. We will be in front of our buildings fighting for what they deserve. The Chicago Teacher Union's president later calling the strike approval a unanimous decision. Why? Two major points, class sizes and better staffing. I have 30 students in my classroom, half first grade and half second grade. We want the schools of social workers. We want nurses. We need clinicians in the school. When it comes to pay, the city is offering teachers a 16% raise and a five-year contract. But teachers want a 15% raise and a three-year deal. Most marriages in this country, or many marriages, don't last five years. And I don't like this contract enough to marry it. CTU has also asked to shorten instructional time by 30 minutes in the morning and get paid out for unused sick days. Requests Mayor Lori Lightfoot argued will add another $2.5 billion per year to CPS's annual budget. I was disappointed by the CTU's decision to begin a work stoppage. She said she's done everything possible to keep this from happening. We need to get back to the bargaining table and get a deal done so we can all proceed. That's in the best interest of our children, our families, our community, and our city. So tonight, as 360,000 students and their parents adjust plans for tomorrow. What time is your school normal? Appreciate it, thank you. And CTU gears up for the picket line. What is it going to take to end the strike? Someone comes with good faith and we, we can earnestly say that looks like a solution to us. That's going to make, really make conditions better, not just something that's going to appease us and get us back in the door. Now they'll go back to the bargaining table tomorrow morning. It's not entirely clear exactly what time those talks will start, but of course we will continue to follow this very closely for you. Reporting live outside CTU's headquarters tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Erica? All right, Tara, thank you. School buildings will be open, but don't expect much else. There will be no teaching staff, no security, no custodians or building engineers. Chicago Public Schools calls it an extended time for independent learning. Since schools will be serving meals, parents are encouraged to register online ahead of time so schools know how many meals to order.